So this is a you know convertible, so I can not only use it as a laptop, I can convert it into kind of like this lean back entertainment mode. Imagine you got Netflix playing, you're lean back on your couch, just playing full screen. If I want, I can fold it over. It's complete tablet mode. It, you know, this app doesn't rotate, but you know it just rotates as I move it around. So a full touch interface. Uh, you know, gestures as you'd expect on any other uh, you know tablet of its size. We have bezels here, so your fingers don't you know, accidentally touch it. I still have one touch access to assistant, so not only do I have a dedicated assistant button, so the keyboard's off right now because it's folded over, but on, in tablet mode, if I long press, assistant launches, the microphone opens because the keyboard's not available and it'll parse whatever I'm saying. So we have all that one touch access. When it's in you know, the standard mode, the assistant key is a new key that we've added to the Chrome OS keyboard, so you know, one touch access I can launch and uh, dismiss. You can do all the same functionality that you can with Assistant on you know, your Pixel phone. So you can imagine all your home automation, things that you set up. You can still leverage all those same things but have to reset them up. So just log into the same Google account and it's immediately available to you. Uh, some of the fun things that we've added to the Pixel Book specifically is, you know, for example, people spend a lot of time in email on these productivity sized devices. So what we've done is we've taken the functionality of what's on my screen and actually built that right into Assistant here. So when I launch Assistant on a screen, like this, I had a dinner invitation. Google parsed the content on my screen, looked it up, said Pascal. Probably the most interesting bit of information here. So I have one touch access to maps, I can call you know directions, things like that. So I get all that information without having to do you know, a single thing. I don't have to do a separate Google search. It's really predicting my needs here. Uh, the Pixelbook Pen sold separately. So otherwise, it's a super precise, super low latency uh, touch device. You know, it works just as if I had a you know finger. However, one of the fun features we've added is, let's say, I'm looking at this image, I'm not sure what it is. If I use the button here, this is actually an assistant button, so when I go to highlight content, whatever I highlight gets sent to the assistant, the assistant looks that image up and finds out what the most relevant information about it is. In this case, that's Blade Runner 2049 picture. It got access to the YouTube channel, news related to it, I can share it. Uh, similarly, I personally spend a lot of time on Instagram looking at travel bloggers. And you might see photos that, you know, wow, that looks beautiful, I'd love to go there, uh, but I'm not sure where it is. Here I can again just highlight it. You don't have to be precise, Google understands what you're trying to, to do here. And you'll see when it returns the card, that's Antelope Canyon. So you can see it's using the intelligence that only Google has to give you information that's relevant to you know, what you're looking for, what you're seeing on your screen. Awesome. And pricing and availability? It's pricing and availability. It will be on, uh, it's available for pre-order starting today. It's going to be on store shelves in the US, UK, and Canada on 1031. And uh, it begins at uh, $9.99 for a i5 and 8 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. Awesome. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.